talk about one of my favourite preachers? Yeah, can't do it. Let just talk about Dr. Martin Lloyd Jones. Yeah. Any idea who he is? I've heard of him. He's a, pre he's a preacher, isn't he? Is he alive still or dead? He's dead, bro. He yeah. died in about 1981, 1982. Oh, I know he's an old preacher. I think I've seen, I've seen one of his old Uh, do you know why he's important? He was a Puritan, was he? Was he, he well, Dr. Martin Lloyd Jones, he was the uh, he was the greatest preacher of the 20th century in the UK, and he started his he, he was a, 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 an advisor to Lord to Lord Horton, I think it was a, the Queen's physician, and he was a brilliant Harley Street specialist. Yeah. He was a brilliant doctor, and when he was doing the Queen's um, the Queen's and the King's uh, medical records, yeah. he realised they're just human beings like us, yeah. and he saw that the the merit, the story of the Old Testament people being sinful, mm -hmm. and, he, and he was converted. So he gave up being a brilliant doctor, yeah. and went and became a, a simple preacher in Wales. Yeah. Everybody thought he'd gone nuts. Anyhow, he scrapped the choir, he scrapped the drama group. Yeah. And he just started preaching. Oh, wow. And revival broke out in his area. They were coming all over the Wales to hear his preaching. Oh. And uh, he had a powerful impact on, on uh, preaching. Then he was called to Westminster Chapel in, to work alongside Campbell J. Morgan. Yeah. And uh, Campbell J. Morgan was a great expository preacher. And Lloyd Jones was preaching at Westminster Chapel. And Lloyd Jones, when Campbell Morgan retired, he began to do expository preaching. So it he like took him like loads of years, like I don't know, something like eight years or something crazy, to go through the Book of Romans. Yeah, yeah, that's what said. And uh, he went through the books systematically, and he taught a whole generation of preachers to uh, preach the Word of God, expound the Word of God. Then he helped to start the Banner of Truth, which was a uh, a publisher that published the All Puritans. Yeah. He also helped F. F. Bruce to to got another lecturers to. Wow, it's amazing, isn't it? He also helped uh, uh, lecturers to go back into the universities and encourage the uni university students because many evangelical university students thought they couldn't defend the faith. Yeah. So Lloyd Jones and others went into the universities and encouraged people to stand up for the faith. And basically, he, 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 he was used to get the church to be more uh, stronger in the Word of God. Mm. But he also did a series on revival. And it upset a lot of reformed people because he was on about the Spirit. So he, he, his emphasis was on the Word of God, but also being a person of the Spirit. And, and uh, he encouraged the uh, people to believe in revival, that revival could happen. Um, and we haven't had a leader in the UK of his stature who could command the respect of everybody. Calvinists respected him, Anglicans respected him, Methodists respected him. And so he commanded that kind of authority amongst God's people. But yeah. since his death, we've never really had that kind of leadership. No, we need that kind of leadership, don't we? Yeah. The church is going to be secular, aren't we? Worldly and humanistic. Uh, that was powerful. You need that grassroots preaching. Oh, wow. Wow, that's, wow. that's amazing. I don't know if you're going to be that. That's amazing. Don't mind me pulling aside. No, no, pull aside, bro. It's amazing, mate. Wow. Look at that. Beautiful, isn't it? I'm just going to get out one second and get a good picture on my, on my, on my camera. All right, mate. Uh, I've got a landscape view on it. So that that was a few thoughts about Dr. Martin Lloyd-Jones. So if you go to Dr. Martin Lloyd-Jones Recording Trust, you'll be able to go and... Uh, <laughs> Standing here is amazing. <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. If you go to Dr. Martin Lloyd-Jones Recording Trust, you'll be able to go and see, uh, listen to 
a lot of Lloyd John's sermons and they'll bless you. And I think a lot of his material now is on YouTube as well, so. So that's good. Cool. Amen. Hey,